Che Hussani reacts as Lafarge cements pleads guilty to funding terrorist group. Welcome to the news and please subscribe to our channel. To get notified on post hot juicy news updates, please click on the notification bell. Che Hussani, the former senator who represented the Kaduna Central Senator District in the 8th National Assembly, has said, said it is something to, of shock to learn that Lafarge was part of those funding terrorist group. His reaction is coming after the news carried that a cement company has admitted to a United States court that a paid Islamic State and another terror group, Al Nusra, front an equivalent amount of $5.992 million to protect its staff. Taking to his social media page to condemn the act, Sheikh said such practices of secretly giving money to terrorists for one reason or the other was one of the reasons why the dreaded group continued to thrive. His sports reads, It is shocking to hear that the French cement company Lafarge has been involved in funding terrorist group of which it has admitted to the, in the United States. One reason terrorism continues to thrive. Often, we wonder how terrorists get funds to acquire sophisticated weapons. Act like this may be one of the ways and it indirectly empowers them to come back to attack the people. That is the truth. That is why you see for the very first time, eh, for the very first time, the Nigerian government gave the bandits, even if it is 1 million, 2 million, 10 million, 100,000, they don't, they tell the terrorist people, say me they're attacking people. That is it. Indirectly, you're telling these people, use this money, buy an arms and ammunition, then come back to attack our people. That is why I was so angry when I heard that the government started compensating these people, telling us that uh, it is uh, you have to reason with them. Imagine, hi, Nigeria, my country, where terrorists are compensated. Terrorists are compensated and dialogue with. Meanwhile, people who are seeking for freedom are locked in jail. Is that not what we are seeing now? The leader in the, of the indigenous people of Biafra and the leader of the Didua nation, um, Mazinam Dekano and uh, Chief Sunday Buhu respectively, both of them, are in prison. Why? Because they want their people to have a better life. They want unity, peace and progress. And if the Nigerian government is not going to be ready to give it to them, then they want to succeed. But what do we see? We keep hearing of how a group of people are inter how do i put it now they are intervening they are the middlemen between the government that collects money and give to these bandits and i'm asking myself how will you reach yourself as in how and this is why whatever the government does whether whatever the government does is not going to be appreciated because the primary function of the government is to do what is to secure the lives and properties of its people that is a fair, in fact, before you come outside and start using a manifestos, manifestos to campaign, you would have done the, as in your primary, even if they wake you up from sleep. The primary function of the government is protection of lives and property. Because it is when people are safe that people can start asking for a better life. Just like people that live in the northern region now, where all this insecurity and banditry is pronounced. Those people, those people don't know they see it two eyes. Their daily prayer, any day they wake up, is God protect me. They know they even pray, say, God bless me with house. It is you that is staying where it's, that is calm, that you can, oh God, please bless the work of my hands. So it is where you have life that you can start saying, okay, I want to go to school. I want to do better for myself. That is just it. And that is why I keep saying the works of the government, no matter if they let me that they share one, one million naira every day, if people do not have protection of lives and property, it will not be, it will, it will be of no use. The people will not be appreciated, uh, and it's not going to be appreciated. That is just the truth. So, the government now, they follow and empower the bandits. That is it. People are talking about Lafarge. I'm talking about our government. Because several times has the government given these people money. And I say it for any money that is given to these terrorists. These people, they don't buy houses though. These terrorists, no. For what's in the people they say if you kill any time. No. They don't buy houses. They buy what? Arms and ammunition. I have said it before that even the arms and ammunition that is in the hands of the terrorists. So this is the issue. Our government 
What this is indirectly saying is that Nigerian government has been funding the terrorists because this particular Islamic cleric, Sheikh Amagumi, has been of the opinion that, oh, eh, this government, these terrorists, these bandits, eh, that they're not, eh, they didn't go to school, you know, that you have to approach them with, eh, what's it called? You have to appeal to them. And I'm saying, eh, it is only in Nigeria that I hear you appeal to terrorists, you. You don't appeal to terrorists. Anything we want do, you do them. I mean, these terrorists are like unwanted people, just like weed. If it grows in your farm, what do you do? Do you appeal to the weed? No, you pull it out. These stories are like, if you give them opportunity, just one opportunity, they attack you and you give them money. And they tell you they'll come back. Because they'll be like, we went there, we got the money, we'll buy arms. The arms, they used to attack you for the second time. But if for the first time, when these people came in, the first attack they did, Nigerian government, no even, as in, they give them gas goods. Do you understand? When they come back again, Nigerian government reinforce, give them more hard one. Uh uh. The third time they come, uh uh. Nobody go tell them make them pack. They tell this woman, these people do not have, they don't have space for us. But because they came in and the Nigerian government even gave them money, uh uh. They can't go carry their brothers come. Tell no, this this is where I'm going to be. This is where where is going to be our base. That is why we have insecurity in the country. Terrorism is an international conspiracy against humanity. Who does not know that those terrorists have the high and mighty all over the world sponsoring them? But God will not allow evil to triumph over good. I did tell you. Okay. Who is sponsoring Boko Haram and Bandits? My dear, don't tell you now. Sheikh Hushani should also be surprised that Buhari has refused to mention the name despite knowing them. Is that not a sign? There is accolades. France knows about terrorism in sub-Saharan Africa. Illegal mining activities under the cover of cement manufacturing is the raw deal. Hmm. Wahala deal. Wahala deal for this country. Mr. Sheikh Hussaini baffles me to read this comment from you about a company mentioned in sponsorship for terrorism. But the country's government are also into it. Exactly the point. Exactly. So what they should be voted out than turning this country into a terrorist country. The thing is, Nigerians, all this plenty, plenty English, eh? all I'm going to say is, the thing is, we have an opportunity come 2023 to do the right thing. If you ask me how, I will tell you, you know the only way is to vote them out come 2023, come elections next year. And let us remember that we are fighting for life. I've been saying it before now. We are not fighting for our next meal. We are fighting for our lives in Nigeria, not just our lives but the likes of the future of Nigeria as well. Okay, on this note, we've come to the end of the news visit.